Hi everyone, today we're talking about cascading goals. What are they? What are the benefits to using them? And most importantly, how can you start creating cascading goals inside Microsoft Teams? So let's get started. Cascading goals follow a structure that comes down all the way from the top. So goals are first established at an organizational level and then supporting goals are set at departmental, team and individual levels. So there is a hierarchy to these goals, but each goal exists to support the one above it. So what exactly are the benefits of cascading goals? Well, cascading goals keep everyone aligned since everyone knows what the purpose their goal is serving. Everyone is aware of those departmental and organizational goals and how their individual goals can help in the process. And of course, when everyone is aligned and everyone is aware of these things, it is much easier to make decisions. It also helps keeps employees engaged and it obviously promotes transparency. Now that we have the basics covered, I'm going to show you just how you can implement a cascading goal structure inside Microsoft Teams. But Microsoft Teams on its own isn't enough to do this. So we'll be taking advantage of a complete performance management application designed specifically for Microsoft Teams, TeamFlex. And you can simply head over to the Microsoft Teams App Store and look for TeamFlex to start using it right away. So let's dive right into my Teams account. So here we are inside Microsoft Teams and this is the TeamFlex dashboard I told you about. I'm heading over to Goals and right now I'm using a Manager's account. And we can see different tabs such as My Goals, My Teams Goals, Goals Related to Teams Groups, Departmental Goals, and Company Goals. So everything is quite set up to follow that hierarchical cascading structure. So we're heading into company and this is our company goal. So achieve a 20% increase in annual revenue. And we see an icon that suggests this is a company goal. And if I click right here, I can expand it and see the goals below it. And these are department goals, right? So we have one department goal that says increase sales, re increase sales revenue by 25%. And then we have another department goal. But if we open these up as well, we can see some individual goals, right? So these are some sales goals and below it are some marketing goals for the marketing team. So as you can see, all of these individual goals, they're supporting the department goal and the department goal is supporting the organizational goal. And if we click on it, we can see that the goal progress of the organizational goal depends on the progress of the departmental goals. We have our sub goals here and we can edit the weight of each sub goal as well to see which one's progress will be affecting the organizational goal better. So if we click on this goal, we can see that this goal also depends on the individual goals and their progress. So we can see that I already have the cascading goal structure fully implemented in my Microsoft Teams. And if I want to, I can click on these individual goals and head over to the individual goal itself. And here we are inside Laura's personal individual goal. We can see its status. We can update the prog progress. And of course, on the bottom right, right side, we can see the parent goal for this one as well. And the parent goal is the departmental one. So that is how I set up the cascading goal structure inside Microsoft Teams. Now let me show you how you can build your own cascading goal structure inside Teams using TeamFlex. This time we're inside the goals module again and we're clicking new goal. And now we just add the entire team to the goal and we're selecting this as a company goal. Now this is a single goal owned by all the selected people. We're putting the goal in. We can put a description in if we want to. And then we're selecting how this goal will be measured and we're going to say roll up from sub goal progress. And then all we have to do is click create. And as you can see, the goal has been created and the progress will be tracked through the sub goal progress. We don't have any sub goals yet. So let's create some sub goals. This time we're creating department goals because we're cascading them down and we're adding some individuals who are in a particular department and once we're done with that all we need to do is once again give this goal a title if we want to add a description and select how the goal will be measured 
and let's give them a target. This time it should be a percentage. And we can see its parent goal right here. And then we're selecting create. So as you can see, we have the first sub goal and let's create another one for good measure. Once again, this is a department goal, but now we can pick people from other departments. And we can add other people. We can add the title. Again, same process, but this time for a different department, obviously. And we gave them a target and we're creating it. Now we have the two sub goals set for our company goal. And these are both departmental goals. And if we want to, we can edit the weight of each sub goal and how they will be affecting the progress. And we can visit each sub goal on its own. And there you have it. We just built a cascading goal structure inside Microsoft Teams using TeamFlex. But that about brings us to the end of this video. What did you think? Are cascading goals right for your organization? Just let me know in the comments and we can start a discussion right away. Guys, we release helpful Microsoft Teams content like this one every single week. Subscribe so you don't miss any of them. And if you think TeamFleck is right for you and you want to build cascading goals using TeamFleck, you can always click the link in the description to schedule a free demo. Bye-bye.